Hi there, hello. I see Rudy, hi. Rudy says hello, Rick. Hey, you. Hi. And Stripe Back, hi. Stripe Back says hey, Rick. Hi, Stripe Back. It's. This should be the month of Stripe Back, because skunkies. Rudy says hey, Rick, wanna see a cool trick? Tell me. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, thanks for the sub, Rudy. Oh, sorry, no audio. There we go. Uh, thanks for the sub, Weathens. Hi, hello. Oh boy, Rudy and Weathens here. You guys are spoiling me. But yeah, Rudy, thanks for the sub. He says, not a problem, Rick. I very much appreciate everybody's contributions. And uh, I'm still looking for something I can do. I mean, we have emotes, we have a boot emote and a something. Wait, what was I doing? I forget. Uh, fucking... A fruit, I think? Or is it a flower? Uh, it's just a shit ton of flowers here. I don't even know which ones I haven't done. Okay, there's these. And then these. And... Eh, fuck it, let's go for those. What are these? Da daffodil. Okay, sure, whatever. Rudy says, the trick was me flexing on Jeff for having Prime. It works. Yeah, that works. Sure, I don't have Prime. Uh, then Rudy said a boot, Rick, boot. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have Prime, sadly. Okay, nothing weird? No, uh... Actually, yeah, there's weird things here. Mostly this. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. This game is a nightmare. This game is the Dark Souls of gardening games. <laughs> this is how I rage. Okay, I learned that sh shovels are good. Okay, so you're supposed to pull out the... Oh boy, there it goes. So that was my mistake. Okay, I now I know. I'll repeat it. Glade. That was not Glade. That was the opposite of Glade. Rudy says, it's okay. I won't have Prime by the end of the month. It's cheaper to just be a tier 1 sub for you instead. But since I have it right now, I might as well use it. Well, thanks! So I'm guessing you're probably doing like a trial thing? Okay, let me just try that again. Because that was stupid. Rudy says, yeah, it was just so I could get packages faster. I'm pretty sure I still have my trial, but I have not used it because I'm saving it for an emergency. Huh, that was, that was easy. Oh, fertilizer, I hate doing this. Uh, I hate doing this. Whoops, okay, I fucked it up. Not my problem. I don't care. <laughs> Well, that did not work. Uh, 
This game has massive control issues. If you see me, like I would, uh, I would do this faster, but blah. Conan, okay, Conan, hello. Conan says he woke gardening weasel. Just imagine, I should have art of this. I should draw Rick in in just like the silliest gardening outfit and use it for this game. I should make art of every game that I'm gonna be playing, but I think that would be too much. I, I don't have the, the skill. I really don't have the skill. Otherwise, I would draw probably something every week for the stream. Gotta widen that hole so I can plant my seed. Ethan says, commission time. Uh, again, I wish I had the, the cash for commissions. I did get paid recently, but it, it, it was mostly just cash so I could stabilize my economy. I mean, we are not really, I'm gonna put it plainly, but I don't think we are in, in times for just frivolous spending. These are very uncertain times we live in. I'm trying to save up in case of an emergency because I live in Mexico. Things are absolutely unpredictable here. If people have money, sure, they can go ahead, but I um I make very little. Ronan, hi, hello. Ronan says hello. That was certainly an interesting thing to hear the second I joined in stream. <laughs> Hi Ronan, sorry, it's just... People are suggesting I should probably commission more art of, of my weasel doing stuff related to the games I'm playing. But I'm just going like, well... I am not sure if I want to spend too much money. I'm trying to be... Uh, Responsible. Okay, I fucked that up. Wow, how many of these are there? Wow, this seems impossible to do. Oh, that. Ronan says, no, not that. The thing about widening holes. Oh. Um, well, that's exactly what I was doing. I was widening a hole so I could plant my seed. Let me try this again. And I fuck it up. How am I so bad at this? And then some good at this. This is, um... No, I gotta get that right. I gotta get that right. I can't let freaking gardening mama beat me. Five. Seven. Three. Three. Okay. Yeah, it's better that way. Oh, hi Chip, hello. Chip says, hello Ricky, hi, hello. People are here, we can talk about stuff. Come on, get me some topics to talk about and I will give my horrible, horrible opinion about them. One, oh, 40 grams. There we go. Terrific. 
And gotta do this soil, gotta do this soil, gotta do this soil. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I fucked it up. Why am I why am I so nah. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, ma'am, I have disappointed you. I gave it my best effort, but it was not enough. Oh boy, this thing. At least that's something I can do. Okay, I do have something to talk about, though. Um, so this morning, Nintendo dropped something out of the blue. Freaking Hyrule Warriors. Oh, uh, any other time I would not be paying attention to Zelda news and stuff. Hyrule Warriors, more than anything, because I really have no interest for that game. But, this one is different. This one is apparently... What? That was my seed. Okay. So yeah, Nintendo just revealed a canonical... ...prequel to Breath of the Wild in the form of a Hyrule Warriors game. Who would have thunk? Rudy says, you seem to be getting better at it. I am not. Chip says, thoughts on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity? Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna talk about. Strybeck says, do you think it will be canon this time? Yes, I am thinking that Nintendo pushed this. I mean, the fact that they had Anuma there means that they are kind of pushing. They... they basically said they did not said it's a story based on what could have been or something they're they're basically saying this is what happened in the calamity it's it's just so yes i believe it is a canon it's gonna be a canon game with a different gameplay i guess completely unexpected but that just means it seems like it's something I may have to play. Because I played Breath of the Wild and kind of ended up getting entangled with the whole story. So maybe. I mean, if somebody lends me a copy, I think Zane said that he would lend me his copy when he was done with it. So yeah, that can work. We could possibly do like one Friday stream and then see uh, and then see how that goes and if I like it I may play more of it huh okay Let's see, daffodils. Back to those things. Anything weird? Nope, just watering. Okay. Kind of weird that it's so simple. Ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba. This unassuming game is killing me inside. I'm doing this as a self-imposed challenge. This game is my own self-imposed challenge of I need to 100% this game because I know I can, even if it's silly.
The good thing is that I don't have to move to the, these two. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's that kind of... Sure, okay. Chips, is as someone who has effectively mastered Hyrule Warriors, I'll be happy to give you some pointers. I knew, I knew you would. That's why I'm probably going to be doing that game as a um, co-host. I am probably not going to be playing it until way after it releases, so you guys are going to have time to play it. If you want to play it, you're going to have time to play it before me. I am not playing it at release. I'm going to give it like a few weeks or so. Depends on how long it takes Zane to do it. Because, yeah, I am not buying it. Zane is lending it to me. I love moving sprouts. This is this is my shit. That is the thing I'm good for. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, oh, tulips. What else do we have uh, in the agenda? What else is something to talk about? But yeah, um, <clears throat> I do have a few games planned for the future. Already quite got quite whew, a few games for my lineup. Games that are coming, games that I already have. I know, I'm coming, jeez. Da -da -ba -ba. Da -da 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 the leaf is longer. Just the one leaf. Oh hey, serum. Um I don't have anything special to do here, so I'm just gonna make it a plus 10. Really? Really? Piece of shit. Let me try that again. That was that was that was dumb. That was that was some dumb shit. <laughs> Squeeze. Oh, this is so satisfying. I love the clinking of the stick against the the uh, the beaker. And pop. Okay. Chip says more godly weather control. And oh, Blazing Phoenix. Hi, hello. I see you're lurking. Hi, thanks for dropping by. Da 
Square. Circles. Fucking stars. I hate doing stars. A uh, blazing phoenix says, it's me, Dan. Yeah, I know. I, like, I saw your icon, of course I recognize your... your... your Sona. Have you been drawing stuffs? I know you were drawing stuff earlier today. Dan says, Chip said you were streaming. Yeah. I, I am streaming. I am streaming something very silly. The Dark Souls of Gardening Games, as I like to call it. Okay, nothing too weird here. The true leaves. If these are the true leaves, where are the false leaves? Stab it four times. Pull it out. Put it in the thing. I mean, is this realistic gardening? Is anybody here um, familiar with actual gardening? All my experience with IRL gardening is basically the stuff that my dad does sometimes. Because my dad does do a fair amount of gardening. Even though, come on, what kind of gardening can you do in the desert? There you go. Rudy says, I grew a tomato once. Ooh, nice. All I've grown is, uh, you know how in school, well, at least here in, here in Mexico, um, you have the thing where they make you grow a bean in a cotton, in a jar. That, at least I did that, I remember that. Witten says, I grew tomatoes and peppers this summer. See, I think that's a more American thing. Gardening is more of an American thing. <laughs> Rudy says, oh, the bean thing. Ron says, I killed my mom's mint plants once. Well, that counts as gardening, of sorts. Not everybody's good at this. Not even I am. Rudy says, we had ours in bags, like... One was in a damp bag in a cold closet and the other was in the warm window. Huh. Wheaton says, tomatoes fresh off the vine are so good, way better than store stuff. I don't even like tomatoes. Like, regular ones. I am addicted to ketchup, but I don't like actual tomatoes. I just find them, ugh, Just kind of weird, I guess. First of all, I'm, I have, I've, I'm not really a veggie person. Mm, the first time I ate veggies, I've mentioned this before on stream, was when I was 24. So... I am still trying to understand them. So far I like carrots and um, broccoli and um, I actually don't like many of them. Oh wow. Why can they... Why do they have, like, invisible camouflage? D 
these things are hacking. You, th you, you thought you could hide in the corner of the screen? Rudy says, I got bonsai trees farm for my birthday. I need to start growing that actually. Oh, my family had an aloe plant for the longest time. Wonder what happened to that. I think my mom had one too. Ronan says, that seems to be the general consensus. No one I know eats straight tomatoes, but a lot of people seem to enjoy tomato products. Yeah. Tomato sauce, ketchup, tomato flakes. Those are all good. Powdered tomato stuff for soups. That is really good. But yeah, not actual tomatoes. They're just... Eh. Oh wait, in the rose garden, right? My roses are wilting. It's fine. It's the course of nature. They have to go eventually. I'm not gonna get attached. Oh, buggos. With a toothbrush. Here we go. If I did gardening, I would probably try to go for uh, her herbs. I think herbs are more my thing. I would love to have herbs, dry them up, and powder them. Rudy says, I've been eating mozzarella sauce recently. It's so yummy, but I think it's not just plain tomatoes, but it's close. Huh. Again, I am I ha I am like the most boring person when it comes to pasta. Mostly the, because there's not many ways to make make a uh, to make pasta here in Mexico. It's kind of boring. I miss having pasta in the US. Uh, when is this going to end? I haven't been to the US since March. When lockdown started, and they closed the border. Essentially, the last thing I did in the US was pick up my copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons when it came out. I have gotten my mail since then, but it's because I've convinced my boss to get my mail for me. Eh. I know, everything is wilting. Hey, more true leaves. Within says, OMG, I had Olive Garden yesterday, it's so good. Don't, don't, don't. I miss Olive Garden so much. It's trashy, but I love it. I miss it so much. You don't know what it is to be stuck on this side of the border. I mean, I think only Conan knows, really. But he's used to it. Chip says, you have pasta in Mexico? Oh yeah, that's a quote, that's a quote from somebody, somebody that used to be here on the stream a lot. I remember when he said, you have pasta in Mexico? And I just, I think I sprained something by how my, how my, my, how hard my eyes rolled. Rudy says, I had ravioli and fell in love with the sauce, went to Arby's after that and enjoyed mozzarella sauce with my meal. 
and I've been wanting to put it on things ever since. Huh. I actually don't like raviolis a lot. I don't like the type of cheese that they use inside of them. Wheaton says, oh yeah, it's garbage, but delicious. <laughs> um, Dan says, now woo. Why? Don't, 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 don't know woo here. No woo, no woo allowed. This is not a place for canines. I mean, it is, but... Obey the weasel. Rudy says, unlimited breast breadsticks and they treat you like family? Sign me up. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Olive Garden, but apparently we... It's we have we can vouch for quality. Oh hi Ruggiero, hello. Ruggiero says hello. Oh, Rudy says there's more ravioli aside from cheese. Maybe if they like stuck like stringy cheese inside of them. Holy shit, that sounds trashy, but so good. Stringy cheese ravioli. What do they usually put inside of it? Ricotta cheese or something like that? Well, the good thing is that I'm not really hungry right now, so I can talk about this without feeling like, oh, I'm. Without feeling that I need to close the stream so I can go eat something. Today is cereal day. I'm probably gonna be having a. Okay, what cereals do I have left? I have uh, Tricks. I have Cookie Crisp. Uh, I'll probably go with Cookie Crisp. I am cheating on my diet so hard, but I feel like I deserve it because lockdown and nobody's eating well. Rudy says, I'd be so down for string, che string cheese ravioli. Tempted to make that now, lol. Well, make it. You have my authorization. Make it and tell me how good it is. Ronan says, trashy weasel. Yeah. It's... I'm, I'm just the trashiest. I'm the kind of person that puts uh, sweet and condensed milk on a slice of ham and calls it food. Well, I used to do that a lot more, but after I took on my diet because I almost died, uh, I've been trying to cut back on those things. I sometimes have my cravings still, but not as frequently as before. I used to have the worst craving cravings back in the day. I was like... My, I was just sitting somewhere and then my, my, my brain just went Okay, so stick a chocolate bar in the microwave and then cover it with soy sauce And I was like, why? My brain was like, just because And I just said, okay, sure And I did it Am I pregnant or something? Well was beautiful flowers. Rudy says trashy weasels are the best kind of weasels. Yay! Ronan says we can be trashy weasels together. Oh yeah, Ronan is 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 taking on a part-time weasel job right now. Wheaton says. I know. Wheaton says. Mama, shut it! Wheaton says Rick is a good boy and drinks his sparkling water. Yeah, you know what the problem is? There's no sparkling water in Mexico and I re already ran out of my cans of the stuff. So I've basically replaced it with mineral water. Or I try to dilute other stuff like juices and, uh, and soda with, with a lot of water. Just because uh, I need to make do. I am running out of things. I ran out of so many, uh, so so many of the things that I used to buy in the U.S. I ran out of soap. I mean, I still use soap, but it's local soap. I used to have fancy soaps from from uh, furry cons. <laughs> I used to go to furry cons just to buy soap.
Root is a stretchy weasel TF from Boot. Well, yeah, that happens. Conan says eggy symptoms. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Eggy symptoms. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, what's up with this one? Okay, it's just fertilizer. I can do this. I think using the plus 10 is good. It fixes minor mistakes. So I'm just gonna stick to this. I can only think that I am not hungry right now, because I know myself. If I was hungry, I would be snacking on something already. Oh, look! A box of uh, a box of Scooby Snacks. Okay. What was I saying? Right, okay. So, yeah. Conan says, squeeze. Don't squeeze me. Because if you squeeze me, all my contents are going to come out. And you do not want to do that. Shitty star. Still raining outside. The only good thing about this is that the uh, weather is very chill. It's the perfect weather. Chip says that clinky sound takes me back to high school science class. Oh shit, you had science class with actual like beakers and stuff? So back in school, like even in high school, they did not trust us with uh, equipment. So, all of our science was exclusively theor theoretical. They were like, we cannot do experiments. And then they tried it once, I think? And somebody made a mess. So they were like, no, we are not doing this again. And we returned it to the theoretical thing. Because do not trust... Do not trust uh, Mexican kids with chemi uh, chemical stuff. They're not to be trusted. Wait, what's what's uh, wilting? Hmm. Oh, here. Uh, Dan says I remember setting off the fire alarm back in science. Mm hmm. I think it's safer to say do not trust uh, teenagers with just uh, any stuff like that. Whitten says we had burners and shit for chem. But people can't be trusted. I had some beakers back in the day. Not, not for anything. I had them at home. Okay, funny thing. So, when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school, I wanted to be a scientist. I was a nerdy kid that wanted to go into science when I was a kid. And... One of my experiments, quote-unquote, was just mixing stuff that I had at home. Well, at least I'm glad I did not have access to to uh, dangerous things, but I had 
Well, I used to mix um, like cleaning products, not like for cleaning floors and stuff. That's dangerous. More like soap, shampoo, and stuff. I just mix that stuff to see what would happen, and most of the time I would just create like ungodly smelling things. I mean, they smell like just flowers and stuff, like fake stuff, but it was really, really pungent. Chip says, we got to use bonds and burners and chemicals. I remember burning magnesium strips. Why did all of you get to do that? And I used to just, I stuck to a uh, Theoretical stuff. I think that's why not a lot of people got into chemistry Because maybe if we had more practical stuff more kids would be interested in science But no We had to just stick to boring Theoretical stuff Rudy says, as a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, but then stopped when I realized there were no nightlights in space and it's dark in space. It goes to show you how old I was, lol. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I can tell you how I progressed uh, in, my, in my career dreams. But yeah, when I was a kid, up to until I was, hmm, probably when I was like 10, I wanted to be a scientist. And then, when I turned 11, I wanted to be an evil scientist. As in, I wanted my own island. I got too much inspiration from, uh, I guess, I'm gonna say Pokemon. Because when I was 11, that's when I played Pokemon Ruby. And I was just completely obsessed with Team Magma and I was like holy shit these guys are like organized they have all, all their stuff and they have Groudon and that's cool I want that so I just I don't know what the fuck I was trying to do there and then I turned 12 or 13 and I wanted to do nothing I was like Okay, here's the thing, here's the funny thing. When I was 12 or 13, my my uh, worldview was I will not get to be old enough to have to worry about a job. I said, uh, yeah, when I was 12 or 13, my, my uh, perspective was I'm probably not gonna keep living after 18. Mm-hmm. Rami says, shit, we wanted to be a lot of things as kids. Chip says, I broke a beaker once because I ran it under cold water right after heating it up. That happens? Well, I'm not smart enough. Ronan says, I wanted to be a teacher until I was about 12. And then I got into music and it, that's been my firm career choice ever since. You're kind of like a reverse example. Ronan says, other than the brief flirt with trying to become a wealthy businessman, we do not talk about those days. <laughs> Oof. Norami says, I'm so sorry, Ronan. Yeah, I understand what he's talking about. I am really sorry, too. So... Um, when I was... When I went to a high school, that's when I decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go for computer science, I think. That seems simple enough. And yeah, on my, on my, um, cause in high school, at least here in Mexico, you kind of have to pick like, what do you want to specialize in? Kind of like your major in high school. And I picked computer science and that's a sort of minor, um, business stuff. I remember I like in high school I actually had accounting and um, and just business business administration or something like that I don't remember what it was exactly but yeah so I said I guess this is gonna be my life now
Rudy says, my science teacher had Beaker on a shelf in a class by the door. And now Beaker is the only Muppet I know aside from Kermit. Okay, sure. Norhami says, yeah, glass things can break combining extreme temperature. I did not know that, probably because I've never had to encounter one. Rudy says, I was interested to be an astronomer, but since the senior high school where I joined a club for astronomy Ol Olympiad, I, re I realized there's too much physics for my brain to handle. Oh, I am getting there. I am getting there. So, Rami says, mmm, carrots make me want fried rice or pot pies. Let's do some carrots then. So yeah, when I was getting close to the end of high school, I realized that calculus was giving me a lot of trouble. I had always been good for math. In all of elementary school and middle school, I was always good with math. I remember that my teacher, my math teacher in middle school was like, you are like my only hope in this class. You're the only kid who actually cares about math. And I was like, yeah, kind of, I guess. And um, yeah, I always prided myself on that. And then I got to high school and I learned about trig and algebra and stuff. And I was like, yeah, this is cool. I like it. And then I bumped into calculus. And that's when I said, oh, oh no. Am I going to need this for uh, computer science? And everything pointed that yes, I should probably know about this. So I got kind of scared and it did not help that my teacher, my calculus teacher in high school was really scary. Like really, really scary. That man was frightening. Oh, this is new. Yay! Did it. Rudy says, Oh, I always sucked at math. And Conan says, Calculus is evil. It is, yeah. So, by the end of high school, I just said, You know what? This is not gonna work. So I just frantically tried to search for... Oh. I frantically tried to search for something else that I could do. I, I was like this close to graduating from high school and I still had no idea what I wanted to do in college because okay college is different here in 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 Mexico basically it's a very streamlined process because I know that at least in the US you have to go like university hunting and stuff or you can go to community college I guess just imagine that basically all all uh, all higher education in Mexico is community college but at least it's recognized. I essentially went to the university in my city. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, yeah, I was trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to do in, 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 in college? Because I have to go. It's like, you kind of have to. And I, I just didn't know. Where is it? Oh! Where is it? Oh boy. Almost. Holy shit. I almost died. Ronan says I held off on college for four years because I didn't even know if I wanted to. Ooh. Now I'm just in community college. Yeah. Conan, uh, Conan says same career trouble club as Rick. 
Oh, hi Kai, hello. So, yeah. By the by the end of high school, I just said I just went through a list of things and I just saw something that had the word English in it. And I was like, "Okay, this is my only defining trait. I know English." Because yeah, ever since I was very young, that has been kind of my only talent, just being able to speak in English fluently. Um, so I just uh, I said, "Yeah, whatever, whatever this is." Well, the name of the of the uh, program was uh, English teaching. I never saw myself as a teacher, but I just said, "Okay, this will do. I know English. I can bullshit my way through this. Let's do. Let's do it." Okay. And yeah, I got into that. I got into the English teaching program, and I started getting a lot of classes about about uh about that stuff. What kind of classes did I have? Let me see if I can remember. So I had psychology classes, morphosyntax, history of education, didactics, psychological processes. Linguistics, sociology, just a lot of stuff that you do not expect, but I guess it's kind of expected for a teacher to have. So I got my a hell of a lot of psychology and psycholinguistics, sociolinguistics. For four years and a half, that was my life, basically. And for something that started off as me bullshitting my way through things, trying to stall for time essentially uh it ended up becoming something that i re became really passionate about turns out i had a lot of fun and i was one of the okay warning tooting my own horn here i was one of the best ones although i gotta say all all of my classmates we were all like really good together to the point where teachers were like kind of surprised slash scared of us they were like why are all of them like working together and they are like basically all of them are great we had no idea i remember that i used to peer review um essays and stuff for my for my classmates and i just taught them the pointers for writing because somehow i discovered that i had a writing a knack for writing like uh, academic writing, you know, research, outlining, writing stuff. Yeah, turns out that was my calling. But here's the thing. Throughout the entire time that I studied in that program, I kept saying to myself, I don't want to be a teacher. I, I got into this because I was bullshitting my way in. I do, know, I do not want to be a teacher. But I discovered it's a little bit too late to... Um, it's a little bit too late to uh, give up. Also, I had no backup plan. I said, I have nothing better. I'm gonna have to go through with this. So I did. I kept going. And I graduated. As one of the top students. It became very apparent to my teachers that I was not meant to teach. But that's when um, one of my my teachers, well, she was my teacher, my tutor and stuff for those things. She said, okay, we have something that may work for you at the language department. So she introduced me to a woman who is currently my boss. Um, who was trying to come up with a way of keeping of keeping track of teacher evaluation at the language department. Basically just to make sure that teachers were performing well and in an equal manner manner because if you want to assure the quality of, a, of an English well 
generally a language teaching program, you have to make sure that every teacher is able to teach in the same capacity. If you have a really good English teacher and a really bad English teacher, it's basically up to luck for of the students. Of if if a student made it with the good teacher, you're gonna have a good a good uh, experience learning the language. If they were with a bad teacher, yeah, those students are probably not gonna want to learn English, and that's gonna change their future. So yeah. I became part of the quality assurance um, department of uh, while I was still studying, while I was still in college, because my teacher just told my boss, oh, he's an excellent student, he knows everything, he is going to be able to help you and it's going to make all of this really good. I tried my best, apparently it worked out. So it was first, at first it was an internship of sorts, and then it became a, a half time student job and now it's currently my 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 day job basically because they just they just i guess i'm i'm useful there and that's my career history i went from from science to computer science to applied linguistics and and language teaching and everything because i learned I learned to speak English since I was very young. Nekushu says, oof, I was horrible at writing. Also, hi there, hello. Chip says, thanks for the follow. Yeah, yeah, I, I see you following. Thanks for thanks for following. Conan says, Rick became their, we, their way. Their way? Like, W-A-E? Is that like a, like a pun for bay and weasel? Weasel bay? Weird, but okay. So I was basically given a job right right off the bat when I when I uh, graduated. So never in never I have never had to go um, job hunting because it was basically handed to me. And I am very okay with this job. It's extremely flexible. It basically lets me manage my time. And the best thing of all, I can dress up, dress like weasel trash, because they know I'm tucked away. At like, I work in an office, but I they kind of like stashed me away, so nobody has to look at me. So I can just wear whatever I want. <laughs> so all of the outrageous like pants and boots combos that you see me post on Twitter. Most of the time, yeah, that's what I wear to the office. It's fun. I can't complain. Conan says, no, the way solution wrote it like the Uganda Knuckles phrase. Uganda Knuckles, man, that's a name I have not heard in so long. Memes just come and go. Nowadays. Oh yeah, the carrots, I forgot about those. I guess we can dedicate full time. To carrot thing. Bro, oh, I think it's time for you, Enix, our favorite thing. Wheaton says you would look cute in a suit and tie, though. Oh, you have not seen me? I think some some of these guys have seen me in suit and tie. It's it's not great, but yeah, I I look odd. Also, Wheatons, you have seen me in, in suit and tie of sorts. Oh, crap. Ugh. I'm ruining these. I gave it my best effort. Good enough. Um, what else should I grow? I think this is the last 
the last thing in this garden. I may have to go for a flower. Yep. Rudy says, don't tell me you forgot about Harambe too. No, I can't forget about Harambe. Most because Conan and I kind of wanted to go to a uh, out for Harambe back in the back in the in the heyday, uh, like a gathering. Chip says, "I've been I've seen Rick in formal attire. He looks like a different person." Rudy says, "You do not climb a ninety degree wall because you crave the mineral." I do remember that. Those were the Tumblr days. I remember that. Why was everybody such trash? Look at all these flowers. This is new. Frisha. Frisa. Oh, bulbs. I hate working with bulbs. Wait, what? 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 Mama, you do not change the game. You do not change the game in the middle of the game. I thought... Ah, uh, whatever, okay. I guess now I know. Bulb. 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 Really? That <laughs> Rudy says, why is everyone such trash? The weasel the trash weasel ponders aloud. Everybody is such trash. Naomi says, what the fuck happened? I damn not sure. Damn it. I'm gonna need some fertilizer to fix this. This is old memes happened. Oh boy, it's our favorite thing. We're gonna we're gonna drill, widen the hole, and plant our seed. Let's drill inside. Let's widen that hole and drop the seed. And then bury the seed and pretend nothing happened. Dig into the hole. Widen the hole. Drop the seed. Bury the seed. Nothing happened. Drill. Widen. Seed. Bury. There. Remy says, do people rich quit in real life gardening? Rudy says, yep. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I know. I know people who have given up. Witten says, that's undirty. Nah. Nah, that's just you. Now we have to water this. Okay, the seed is the seed is planted, the deed is done. 
And I get to pick... Oh, a hole! Oh, the, the roses are gone. The hyacinths are wilting. And I need to go back to my carrots at some point. Naramis is not gonna lie, sounds funny. Imagine somebody not getting the results and just burning their garden down. <laughs> Rudy says, man, I love watching Rick plant his seed on stream. This is... This is just something I do. I love showing everybody how I widen holes and plant my seed on stream. And now... A carrot. There you go. Remy says, who would like some chicken pot pie? I do. I want. I'm hungry. Please give me your exotic American food. I'm... I am... My... My palate is so bored. I've been eating stuff here... For months. I have not had a single American food item in so long. Somebody please open the border. How long is the freaking border gonna be closed? I miss traveling. I miss cons. I miss food. I miss cheap video games and electronics. I miss having people that understand my hobbies and and, uh, and and stupid shit I talk about. Chip says me. Rudy says I would. Ronan says I want some spaghettios. Naomi says. Shit, so delish, carrots, onions, chicken, all in a savory sauce. I'm not an onion guy, but I can see it working. Wheaton says, still Trump's gone. Well, okay, that's an unpredictable game. That's an unpredictable game. Logo and caterpillars. Slugo. You are forcibly relocated. Rudy says, I don't know why, but hearing Rick swear just now felt wrong. 
I swear a lot. Noremi says, catch the bugs and sell them to Flick. I wish video games, all video games were, were inter... intercompatible. If you catch stuff on, on, on uh, Guarding Mama, you can move it to Animal Crossing. Everything that you garden in this game, you can use in... Like... A cooking game or something. I mean, to be fair, I think this game should have been compatible with Cooking Mama. Or maybe what we know as the Forbidden Cooking Mama game, Cooking Mama Cookstar, should have been a, a game about gardening and cooking. So it could warrant the $60 price tag. And <laughs> not turn out to be an alleged um, cryptocurrency mining disaster. Alleged, I say, because that was proven fake. The game just had a lot of issues. Okay, um, plus 10. To solve my mistakes. I have evicted all cabbage butterflies. White cabbage butterflies from my, my garden. They're not allowed anymore. How many... How much... How much fertilizer does this thing... Hold? That's a lot of liquid. Oh no, I fucked it up. Oof. But I gave it my best effort! Fuck, I'm gonna do it again. Sorry. Noremi says Rick comes across a white cabbage butterfly persona. If I find that, I will personally apologize to them. But until then... I mean, I mean we know that um, bug personas are very uncommon. And the people that have them are generally very odd. Okay, careful. There, now it worked out. Circle. That was not a circle, but I'm glad the game understands. Star. What am I planting again? What is this thing? Oh hey, another one of those things. Oh yeah, it's a flower. Um, gotta do my carrots. Plus ten.
Oh, hey, destroyer. Hello. Three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four. That soil. Oh no, I hate this. How do I keep the soil low? Eh, I don't care. Don't worry. Mama, you fix that. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. Wow, those are holding up. Yay! Chip says, this is the game PETA should have been complaining about. Because I'm killing bugs? What does PETA even think about bugs? Do they hold them in same regard? I don't think they do. Wait, what? What's what's Will think again? <clears throat> oh. Hey, if it gets me bonus points, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do it. That's a start. Already confirmed. Chip says they love bugs. They once got really angry when Obama sweated a fly during an interview. Wow. How can they function? I think I know what's going on here. The plants are falling. Imagine if there were no humans to oh take care of them. Plants are so needy nowadays. They used to have the resilience of, of uh, weeds. And now like, oh, the temperature is one degree higher. I'm just gonna wilt. Rudy, say, Rudy says, fun fact. Bees essentially con 
consent to giving us honey on the farms. They can leave at any time and when there's bad bee, bee there's a bad beekeeper, they actually do. There's also other reasons that I can remember now actually. Ronan says still a little mad about the time naive 18 year old me got conned by PETA. Oof. How did that go? Chip says mama's making you do back breaking gardening in the pouring rain. <laughs> She knows it's what you want. Norami says, news reporter sees a bug flying over them and got scared. Yeah, because you know they're gonna get targeted. Because they're looking for stuff to complain about. Wait, why am I here? Oh, I'm only missing a few of these. Oh boy, here we go. Mice. Oh, catch 25 mice. Oh boy. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. No, no, don't take my carrots. Nope, nope, no carrots. Nope, carrots. Nope. No, no carrots. Nope, don't, don't go. Nope. Take my carrots. Nope. <laughs> Oof. Romy says, oh shit, a rat. Get these mice out of here. <laughs> they're just mice. They're, they're fine. They're just hungry. Chip says, I'm part of PETA, all right? People eating tasty animals. Why does that feel like a stolen joke? Conan says, question for everyone. Which bug you like the most that you would try to create and or wear a fursuit? That is actually a good a, a good question. Ronan says, sold me a DVD at, at a Paul McCartney concert with some lady at the desk PETA set up outside claiming it to be a new single called Glass Houses. It wasn't. Huh. Yeah, that sounds like something they would do. A bug. What kind of bug is cool enough to have a fursuit off? I think I saw a bug fursuit once. It was really... It was a really cool one. I don't remember which kind I saw it though. It was like some kind of... Uh, it was like an armored beetle. <coughs> or, wait, not a beetle. It was... I'm not sure what, but it was like... Oh man, I wish I knew... What... That thing was. Was it a beetle? No... I have no idea what that thing was. I don't know enough about be about uh, bugs to know. Conan says, also I allow arachnids too. I know they're not bugs, but still a nice option. Um, Rudy says, Animal Crossing noise. I got a rat and I didn't even use a bat. Ronan says, I would like a beetle Sona, to be honest. I always like those. And I have a few a good few Antro Bug Pokemon OCs. Chip says, a rhino or stag beetle would be awesome. Yeah, beetles seem to be pretty manly bugs, so I would probably go for that. Everything else else is too gay for me, said the gay guy. Dun, da, 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 da. Oh, 
Oh shit! Chip, I think you earned an honorific from uh from Distro. That is a hell of an achievement. Free shoes are a bloom. I want I want some rare give me some of the rare fertilizer, come on. For hours. So yeah, this dress is note, Cambred Yawn is an honorific derived from the word for ice, thus is used to honor a master slash powerful user of ice magic. Wow. Okay, time to... Am I, am I gonna get my carrots now? I want my carrots. Carrot, carrot time. Oh boy, it's harvest time. Let's let's get those carrots. Whoa! Oh. Pop. Woo. Okay, these are not difficult. They bounce, they fall. See, mama, this is how we could be doing things. And yet you want me to catch things in me there. This is nice. A carrot falls. You put it in the basket. I think she had her Xanax today. Rujito says, do you prefer your carrot soft or crunchy, Rick? Um, soft. And I don't like them, I don't like them in I honestly don't like them in round in rounds or, or or diced. I like them in stripes. As in, you know if you use a peeler on a carrot you get like thin stripes? That's how I like my carrot. Bountiful harvest too. Swallowtail? Yep. As I said, the white cabbage butterflies are evicted. They do not deserve to be here anymore. Rudy says, I don't like carrots unless it's raw. Mushy carrots are gross. I don't like raw carrot. Ugh. Conan says, I don't know much about bugs, but I would go for a moth. Have seen some art and look nice. If it was a bug Pokemon, I like Lydian is the one. Which is my what's my favorite bug Pokemon? Hold on. Mm. I actually have my favorite Pokemon of every type. Why are we bring, bringing up Pokemon right now? Eh, it's fine. So, according to this, Armaldo is my favorite bug type Pokemon. I feel like that's cheating, because that's a, that's a fossil right there. Eh. Chip says, I thought we didn't want bugs on our plants. Well, I, I guess butterflies are fine. Mama's just gonna be like, let it come, and then take a photo of it, and then shoo, shoo. 
Chip says, you're a fan of Spirit Tom, I see. I loved Spirit Tom's bad shit insanity in uh, Diamond. And uh, actually, I'm going to leave this up so people can discuss about this. I'm going to leave it here in the corner. But yeah, I loved Spirit Tom's bad shit insanity in Gen, Gen 4. It's like, yeah, you have to go to the underground to get this Pokemon. There's nothing weird about that. Okay, what's next? Did I unlock anything? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to go for the flowers that I'm missing. Alright, let's do these. Let's see if we can do all the flowers today. Who is this kid? Jacob, do I know you? Jacob, do I know you? Jacob only appeared in Garden Imama. So this is an exclusive character. Huh. Rudy says, really? Unknown for Psychic? Yeah, I don't like many other Psychic Pokemon. Conan says, also before fairies, it had no weaknesses. Yeah, Spirit Thumb was a weird thing. Okay, I love unknown, okay? I am obsessed with unknown. They are they are I remember that when uh Pokemon 3 the movie came out, I saw the the unknown like the little chips like the the uh the stone tablet things. And I just I just loved them so much. I just made my own. So I had a set of of uh unknown chips. I made them by reinforcing cardboard. I, I I remember that I carved them. Like, I actually carved into the cardboard. And I weathered them a little bit. I was a very crafty kid when I was a kid. I don't know what happened. I was a very crafty kid. Now, I would love... I would love to have a set of... of um, wooden or stone tablets of those in a bag. Um Rudy says, what's your favorite unknown form? Oh that's a that's a good that's a good question. They are all good. Like all all of them together are really fun. I guess I guess um G is always like the very representative one. Or F? F is cool too. I also love the question mark and exclamation point ones because those are like... Those don't even want to be there. Chip says, Ricky's love of language runs deep. Rudy says, also god that was such a, a good movie. Conan says, Unknown our needs. Do you have a favorite Rick? Uh, again. G is a good one. U has a lot of thingies. Like a lot of... Uh, like the, the things connecting it to the U. M looks interesting, I can say. Q looks like a key. That one's fun. Um, Z is weird. Z barely looks like a Z. V? V is... I have no idea what the hell is going on with... V, it looks like it has like a handle and like a, a little bouncy bit. V is weird. X is kind of X. Rudy says, Rick, I love you and I'll craft you some unknown chips from wood. My grandpa does woodwork, so I'm confident he could give me some. I would love that. Like, if anybody wants to make some, I would gladly pay you for them. Like, Conan's also the crafty type. I know he could do that. Anybody. It's just, like... 
If I can collect more, you know, that would make things cooler. Because I could say I have this set and this set. And it would be like if they came from different... Um, from different places. Oh man, but I have such nostalgia for... Yeah, that's why you're known is my favorite psychic Pokemon because... They are just so fun. They're so much fun. Sorry, I have, I am, um, I have a, a little bit of a, an obsession with those things. I was trying to find a picture of the, of the, uh, Unknown stone, like the, the stone squares somewhere. But I can't really find them. Has anybody ever even made those? I don't think anybody has. Uh, Rudy says, my favorite unknown form is F. Conan says, what do you think of the unofficial forms from the movie? Oh, you 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 mean the, the weird unknown? Um I know what you're talking about. These, right? Oh boy, why did it why did it close like this? Sorry. But yeah, those. Sorry, let me bring them back up. Here. Yeah, these? I have no idea what these are. I think they might be like other symbols. Imagine if we had like regional forms for a gnome depending on where they, they, they were discovered. Again, if I was... Okay, here's the thing. If I had to be in the Pokemon world, most people are like, yeah, I would be a trainer and I would just go in my journey and collect all the badges or just do the trials and stuff. And I was like, I would be a freaking researcher. The Pokemon world is... The, the world building in Pokemon is so fascinating. But people are just obsessed with battling and I don't get it. Oh, it's this one. Why did you change the rules? Why did you change the rules of the game? Uh, Conan posted something. Oh, you found them! Cool. Here they are. Oh man, this is such a cool image. You found them. Ah, yes, I want these. What are the squares for, even? Or is that the back of the... of the things? I think the squares might be for spaces or stuff. But yeah, you see the U, the G, the I, X, Y, N, Z on the bottom there, T, M. I want these. I want these so badly. Rudy says, one of them looks like a Y and an R. Conan says, thank you. Um, Chip says, Papa, Mama, me. Yeah, I remember that. That movie was a... Gosh, that movie traumatized me. Just a little bit. It had such a real issue. It was very relatable. Are we gonna change the, the topic of today just so drastically to towards Pokemon? This dress says, I would want to be someone's partner Pokemon. Especially one that normally does mundane work a lot more than often than fighting. That's also nice, because I mean I know a lot of people here that would like to be a Pokemon. Um 
I mean, it's not it's not a it's not a secret that I love Embor, so. Rudy says the Y and R thing was referring to Stranger Known. Yeah, I can see them. Here's a Y one and an R. Like it's like a Cyrillic. Ah, oh, what's the name of that of that letter? It's uh, what's the name? It's a letter I. No, um, yeah. Right. It means me in Russian, I think. Uh, Ryan says the topic should always be Pokemon. Well, if you bring it the topic to Pokemon, I will talk about Pokemon. Here's the thing about my stream. A lot of people just remain very quiet, mostly because they don't know what to say about the game or anything. But if you bring up a topic, I will commit to it. Oh. Uh, Especially if I'm not doing very well at the game. How does this happen? Conan says, being a Pokemon sounds cool. Excited, Gene. Rudy says, Pi. This says, I envy Clay's partner, Drillbur slash Excadrill. Drillbur is a Excadrill. Yeah, Excadrill is a nice Pokemon. I do like it. Okay. Oh boy, we're gonna do some whole widening. Also, uh, Rujiro says Ya Rasputin. Oh no, you're not getting that song back in my head. Alright, let's dig some holes and widen them. Dig deep. Widen the hole. I need to make sure I'm I'm putting it the right way. Queen, there was a cat that really was gone. Ra ra Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. It was a shame how he carried on. Oh fuck! Sorry, I over, <laughs> I over watered. I guess I was too distracted singing. It happens. Who's this kid? Seriously, I had never seen him. Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing here? Oh, new flower. Buttercup. What the heck is a buttercup? Oh, okay. Oh. 
Uh-huh. Chip says, just a random neighborhood kid who showed up in Mama's garden. I don't believe that because this kid never shows up in another uh, Mama game. Oh, moist. We're gonna moisten. Moist. Moist bulbs. Oh my gosh, they're so moist. They're so plump and thick. And yes, Chip, a, a, a buttercup is just a cup of butter. Weird. This is some obscure gardening that I had never heard of. Oh, also really thanks for sending me the the pics of the little tablet thingies. I love a known. Just they are so cool and every game that has them, I just try my best to collect them. I love that's how, how how unknown and spirit time were the only choices that were like questionable that people just wanted to know what was up with that. Rudy says I always cook my white rice with lots of butter. Hey y'all, y'all, we're gonna put some butter on this butter. We're gonna deep fry the stick of butter. We're gonna serve it with some butter sauce. Conan says, I miss the ruins of Elf and Cape puzzles that unlocks other areas in game. Yeah, that was fun. That's why um, Heart Gold and Soul Seal were uh, like the gold standards for the Pokemon series. Along with Gen 5, at least in my opinion. I just want the known to have like another chance at the spotlight. Even though I know that jo Johto is like their, their region. Okay, good. We did that well. Fashion. We have acquired fashion, so Mama can have fashion. Da 
Um, Chip says fashion can be acquired by having fashion and in buildings called stores. Strikeback says, sorry for not talking for so long. I actually had to go AFK for a while. Are these your favorite Pokemon? Yes, they are. They are all my favorites. Kind of want to do three flowers at once. Would that be risky? Uh, let's uh, let's go for it. Sweet pea. If you have sweet pea, that means that maybe you've been drinking too much soda. And that's my dad joke of the day. Rudy says, of each type. Yeah, I, I found that getting one of each type was the best way to do it. Chip says, if it goes badly, you can blame that kid. <laughs> that kid, that that is not an innocent face. Strapex says, I'm so happy that you like Chestnut and Skuntank. Two of my favorites, too. Yeah, I mean, Chestnut is like a really cool grass type. It was, I, pro I think, probably the only time I went with the grass type. Although I did pick Sceptile on my second run of Hoenn. I, no, I think I actually picked Sceptile. I picked Rico uh, when I first played Ruby. And then on Emerald, I picked Torchic. Yeah, but uh, Chestnut, very good one. And Skunk Tank, he is just cool. He has a he 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 uses his tail as a combo bird. That's just a a hell of a a hell of a hairstyle. Also, does that mean that he's always, his tail is always flagged up? Oh my gosh. If you think very well, we are basically cutting babies by scoring the seeds. Why is this a thing? I guess it's don't drop the... Can you maybe hold the seeds closer? To the cup? Maybe? Okay, 120 grams of soil. And a hundred grams of whatever this is. Stripex says, or fetuses. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Rudy says, as a kid, I was bad at Pokemon. Thought Torchy could only evolve only only once because of the anime. Oh. Yeah, the anime just messed up a lot of people. <laughs> I was actually watching a little bit of the Pokemon anime earlier today. I was watching Strybex. No, not Strybex. Why am I talking about Strybex? No, Strybex. There you are. I was working, wa watching a Sparkle Cat's stream. Uh, and he was showing Pokemon episodes. And he showed the episode with the Shrine Maiden. Which is kind of fucked up. The Shrine Maiden episode is a hell of a thing. And uh, there was a Ghastly there. That turns into a Mongoose. With a gas mask. <laughs> so many question marks. Wait, let me show you that. Okay, 
This this wasn't the Pokemon anime. This is something that happened. Strikeback says, remember how the anime claimed our book evolved into Survivor? I remember that. <laughs> that was that was really funny. Uh, they didn't actually check that. Conan says, yeah, kind of is. R Ronan says, I remember that episode. Tribex says, early version of Zangoose, the gas mask who's represented its ability. Chip says, ride on lightning road. Yeah, that's... Again, do not trust the anime. The anime is bad. I wish, I really wish we lived in the alternate universe with where the anime is actually... Um, like they change, they change main character every, every gen, like in the manga, basically. Imagine if they had done that. But no. There we go. Conan says foreshadowed Zangoose. Stripex says that would have been so cool. Rudy says Bellsprout being immune to electric. Because it has roots and that makes electricity go to the ground. That was bullshit. Unless Bellsprout would have been ground type. Then yes. But it wasn't. So no. Strapex says it would have allowed the hero to always be a kid without raising a lot of questions too. They could have... Was it... What, it happened too hard to just change the main character? Every every season that would have made the, the anime so much better. And people would probably binge watch it and they would go, Oh, what's your, who's your favorite uh, main, main character? But nope. We had to stick with the boy and his Pikachu. These are weird seeds. Poke. 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 Conan says, using IRL facts to do BS in battles. <laughs> Hyenas. Um, Rudy says, it was in the Pokemon Battle League 2. Yeah, this is, it was very dumb. Chip says, the mongoose is actually related to the hyena. He also says, poking holes and putting your seeds in them. Ronan says, I do wish the rest of the player characters that got to be in the anime. It sucks that only some of them got turned into 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 companions. Like well, it was it was a really weird thing. The anime just it's it was like they just picked the random um random characters from the games to turn them into to turn them into a uh, um, into characters in the anime, I guess. Like, okay, in the first, in the original series, we had Misty and we had Brock, which were like gym leaders. And then we had Tracy, who just came out of nowhere. <laughs> um, and then, of course, in, 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 uh, 
the Hoenn um, episodes, we had Mei, who was one of the main characters. And then we had Max, who came out of nowhere. Uh, Strybex says, I'd like... I'd like to see them acknowledge the male players for characters for one for once, but they couldn't because we already have the main male character who is Ash every single damn time. Ruan says, or other than the Joto gang, Maidon and Serena, along with the brief appearance of Victor and Glory in the side series, we don't hear about the others. Yeah, we don't. And then we had Dawn. Dawn is was like oh, obviously the female main character. And then they got rid of Brock, which was a weird move, but okay. It was kind of late. And then we got Silent, Silent and, um... <clears throat> Sorry. And Iris, which were gym leaders again. And then, uh, I, okay, that's when I got lost. I did not watch X and Y. But if I'm not mistaken, Clement is, uh team leader I think I don't remember much from mix one why and his sister apparently and then and then we got we got Serena like main main character Um, Stripex says that they didn't stop Go from existing. Say what now? Chip says Tracy was original character do not steal to replace Brock because the production team were afraid he would be seen as some kind of racial stereotype. But he wasn't, so he just kind of came back. But, okay, weird take, but I did like Tracy in the, in the anime. He was actually an, uh, an interesting character. I'm glad that he ended up uh, working with Professor Oak. He had his own calling, and it worked really well. I did like him a lot. I can talk about all the the companions that I that I can think of. It's like weird takes. Misty and Brock, I have, I have, I don't have a, a big, like they were there. You knew who they were. May and Max were, were actually okay. I have a weird attachment to May and Max because I I watched a lot of the advanced series, and um, oof. May May I I gotta say May and Max justified themselves in um in 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 one of the movies in uh, Jurassic Wishmaker. That movie destroyed me. That movie killed me when I was when I was little. Like, oof. Ronan says X Y had Clement, his little sister, and Serena. Sun and Moon had Kiawe, Sophocles, Lana, Mallow, and Lily. Too many, too many. But I guess Sun and Sun and Moon had its own folk. I know that Sun and Moon was its own thing. I have not watched it, but I know it's its own thing. It it becomes more of a slice of life anime. Um, Strybex says Go is Ash companion then in the new season. No idea. Again, no idea. I have not watched it. And uh, Ronan says, and I think Gladian joined a little later in Sun and Moon. Uh, I hated him in the games. I'm not sure if I could stomach him in the anime. Conan says, I like Tracy too. Ronan says, I do miss Tracy. I hope that they do give Ash previous companions some appearances in the new season since it focuses on Ash traveling the world now. Conan says, Oh, crying. <laughs> Memories of movie. Chip says, Sun and Moon was a Sentai. <laughs> okay, sure. Ronan says, I had Jurassic Wishmaker on DVD. I 
borrowed it from a friend and I watched it over and over and it just absolutely killed me. Chip says, Butler from Jurassic Wishmaker is an underrated villain, sympathetic Team Magma scientist. It was a really interesting plot. It's one of my favorite movies. Although, okay, kill me here. You can destroy me, I don't care. <coughs> but my favorite Pokemon movie is um, Destiny Deoxys. Because holy shit if Lyru City was not cool. Um, Ronan says, Sun and Moon was mostly about Ash deciding he wants to stay in a low and go to school for a little bit. Yeah, it became a very, a very slice of life thing. Ronan says, I love the Dark Ray movie because Licky Licky TF. Oh, I, I think I only watched that one once. Conan says, VR Pokemon attacking the real world. Chip says, Rise of Dark Ray is my favorite. Why does everybody like the Dark Ray one? Again, I just watched it once. Maybe we should have a marathon and just watch all the Pokemon movies. <laughs> well, not all of them in a single day, but we should probably consider doing them in blocks. Conan says, yeah, that's one of the coolest cities, Rick. Yeah. Conan says, the new season does have a couple of companions returned so far, and Ash's current rival is actually a game character, not a player character, though. Strapex says, wasn't Larue City based on Vancouver? I went to Vancouver and I did not see gigantic... Uh, I mean, no, I did see gigantic uh, buildings, but I did not see floating robot cubes. And... Um, that was like the coolest thing, the, the, cube, the cube robots and everything. That was really, really cool. Strikeback says, Oracion is a pretty good song. Maybe that's why people like Rise of Dark Cry. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh! That's the movie that has that song. Why did I think it was other uh, a different movie? Never mind. I like it. Never mind. I actually... No. I, yeah, I remember now. I was mixing it up with the other movie. No, it's the shame in... And Giratina movie that I watched only once. Rise of Dark Cry, I may have watched a few times. I have Oracion in my in my in my in my uh, phone. Like I have it as an MP3. I listen to it sometimes to sleep mostly. If I'm having if I'm having trouble sleeping, I listen to it. Man, this this these topics just went all all over the place. Chip says Oracion was so good it was brought back as the Japanese theme song for I Choose You with lyrics. No shit. I have not watched I Choose I Choose You. Also sorry, I've been I'm stalling a little bit on the game because I'm getting lost in the topic. I guess that's why I don't discuss much on stream, but that's fine, keep it going. That's kind of what I like to do when I stream. The game is just background to what I like to talk about. At least here. This game is good for talking over. Conan says the movie of Latios and Latias, which was in Venice, was beautiful. Also, cool water skating transportation. Then the movie destroyed me hard. <laughs> I watched that one like a couple times. It was really weird. It feels like a fever dream every time I try to remember it. Chip says, sung by the person who sang the Japanese theme to Jurassic Wishmaker. Gosh. I'm not gonna break. I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember Ma Mace Lullaby because that's that that just kills me. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Ronan's Bay is a really interesting choice to have as a as Ash's current rival this season, especially considering how she didn't get much characterization in game due to being version exclusive. Wait, what's going on here? What's what's uh what's wilting? Oh, the two lips again? Oof, sorry. But yeah, I think we should watch the movies. My sweet pea. Wait, where's my sweet pea? Oh, wait. Oh, here, okay. Kona says weekend movies? Um, hmm. I was thinking of doing it in the TF server, but. Pop. 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 I'm still not sure. I'll think about it. Can I say it's okay? Ah! I did my best. Nice. Wow. Again, who the hell is this kid? Oh no, my buttercup. Uh Oh, time for the fertilizer. Um, yep, plus 10. I mean, I'm not going to do anything weird. I just want to ensure that I'm going to have good flowers. Squeeze. Don't you hate it when you get squeezed and a bunch of brown liquid comes out? Is part of why I love the Pokemon manga is because all the player characters get to be their own thing. Yeah, I wish I had more of an attention span to read manga. Ron says, but I also hate the manga because Archie and Maxi get killed off twice. Twice? Ronan says, yay, finished creating the favorite Pokemon type image. Oh, you have your own? I mean, of course you have your own, but...
These are some very splashy water sp sprinkling sound effects. Strayback says, I couldn't get into the manga because of how dark it was. It's a... Uh, it was a thing, yeah. Oh no, my, my, my Gladion. It's starting to clutch his hand. That's how you know it's wilting. Oh boy, um, more of this stuff. Plus 10. Pop. Ronan says, first at the end of Emeralds, who, sh who really should have been Wally. Battle Frontier arc, where they get sent to... The distortion world and gain their Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire designs and then at the end of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire they get basically Thanos snapped out of existence and sacrifice themselves to stop a meteor the fuck Conan says it was difficult I have several sets of Pokemon I like in Pokemon Showdown but I managed to create it Rudy says I'm back for now hi Rudy we just nerded out on Pokemon anime and movies because there's that's the topic that ended up coming up today. Aside from my career choice, why did I do a star when I was asked for a square? What is wrong with me? Ronan says the manga is really wild. You could say it's wild type. But no. Oh uh, gosh. Uh, Ronan says Pokemon Professor Oak has a whole alternate battling persona who psychologically terrorizes green slash leaf. The fuck? The fuck? Because he wants red and blue to fight in the finals of a tournament. Okay. Rudy says BRB will be helping my dog. Your dog. Uh, you know what manga I've wanted to read? What Pokemon manga I've wanted to read for a while? It might be a bit of an, an obvious choice, but Pokemon Reburst. Because, of course. That was a, that's a, that's a hell of a thing. And it's not that long, so I could probably read it. Ronan says, damn, even Professor Oak ships original shipping. <laughs> Ronan says, that's what I was gonna say, the fusion one. Conan says, which one? Yeah, so Pokemon Reburst is a manga series. It's a spin-off manga series where it's all about... Po um, it's all about... Uh, sorry, it's about humans uh, fusing with Pokemon. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, Ronan says Reburst. Oh, man. I need to read it sometime. But again, I don't have time for reading anything anymore. This is the life of an adult. Even one that doesn't do much. My day is so busy. No! Well, that sucks. That sucks more. No, let me try that again. Let me try that again. I think I was too... 
impatient. Here we go. Oh, this one is just... Okay, sure. Simple enough. Conan says, I was thinking about the Mystery Dungeon manga. There has been so many spin-offs, I can't even keep track of it. There have been so many spin-offs. Fast! Can I be fast? I forgot I had to do it that way. Yeah, Mama, you fix it. I don't have patience for this. That's why I, ch I choose the uh, plus 10 fertilizer. That way I can make mistakes! As long as I have over 90. Ronan says, oh, also in the manga, Vanneville time gets exploded. Chip says, I want a mystery dungeon anime so badly. Ronan says, seriously, I love Pokemon mystery dungeon so much. Chip says, a proper anime, not just some specials. Ronan says, like, if we could get an anime that combines the plots of all four games, like my Pokemon mystery dungeon story does, that'd be amazing. Um... I think I have a... I have a... A hypothesis. I don't think Nintendo likes... Well, not, not Nintendo. The Pokemon Company doesn't like... Too much attention being taken from... The main series. They don't want to branch out too much. Which sucks. Well, that was easy. I wish they would take more risks. But, like, good risks. And it's, pe it's pouring outside. Can you hear it? Hold on. Hold on, I'll... I'll, I'll, sh I'll here, I'll show you the rain. Chip says I hear the rain. Yes. Stripex says I love the sound of rain. I do too. But, of course, I'm streaming right now. I can't quite enjoy it. Maybe after the stream, I'll just lie back. Do 
Chip says, at least we're getting another Detective Pikachu movie. Good call, at least. The first one was really, really good. Ronan says, I'm actually listening to rain noises while watching the stream. <laughs> well, I have the, the rain right here. Strayback says, Chip, you mean another game, right? We are getting another game. I think we're also getting another movie. I'm not sure. Chip says we're getting both. Good call. One of the few good calls they've made. I don't remember. What was the excuse to... Well... Um... Hmm... I was gonna ask, what was the excuse for having Pokemon outside of their Pokeballs in Rhyme City? In the game, I know it was just so you could see more Pokemon around, walking around and actually seeing things and, and interacting. And the movie was based on the game, so they had to do that again. That they also had to do that. If they made a movie, just like Detective Pikachu, but in another location with where Pokeballs were more enforced and Pokemon battles were more of a thing, would that work out? Yeah, Chip says a sequel, switch, uh, switch sequel to a 3DS game and a movie sequel. Strapback says, I'm hard pressed to imagine how they could make a sequel to Detective Pikachu. Is Team Zed going to get fused with his Pikachu again? Chip says, I'm still impressed at how well they managed to realize the Pokemon world in live action. They did! Detective Pikachu is a really, really nice movie. Strapback says, in the movie they don't allow Pokeballs. No idea how they enforce something like that. Chip says, Rhyme City was a utopia for Pokemon and humans to coexist without fighting. Like, again. In the movie, they don't allow them because that's how Rhyme City works. But that's because of the game. I think the same thing happens in the game. So, why did they do that in the game? I want to see it from a, a gameplay perspective. I'm gonna say it's because it's, it's better to have the Pokemon roaming around. I have not played the game, but uh, I can just imagine. Strapex says, I don't think it's ever discussed in the game. Yeah, again, I'm just very curious about it. That's what I want to know. Would a movie with Pokemon in their Pokeballs and written traditional Pokemon battles work as well as Detective Pikachu did? That is the question I am positing here. It feels like Detective Pikachu is like testing grounds for something. And it worked out. So what was the budget of that movie? Because it looked expensive. That movie looked expensive as fuck. Chips is... What? No. Uh... Oh, Strapex says, I think it might. Conan says, maybe? Strapex says, I just hope I get to see my favorites in the sequel. I saw Pangoro in the movie and I was like, yes, good. This is good. As you can see, Pangoro is my favorite fighting type. So I was satisfied. There's actually a little fan comic that uh, Shark with a Pen made for me, aka the Nuke. Um, of what if I had been in Rhyme City when that happened and I was walking around with my with my Embor. 
<laughs> he actually makes a comic of how I end up fusing with my Emboar. It's really cute. Chip says 150 million and it made 430 mi million worldwide. Yeah, I would call those numbers for a sequel. They, they did not cheap out on anything. That movie was very well made. Why are these roses the ones that keep getting... Stripe X says, I thought the bait and switch they pulled with Roger and Howard was interesting. Like, they made it seem like Roger was the bad guy in the game, like, like in the game, but then he wasn't. Um, if we can keep spoilers from the game, because I want to play that. I haven't played it. I want to play the game. I know it's not that different from the movie, but I just kind of want to play that by myself. I know that the game differs from the movie in a few spots. Stripex says, oh shit, sorry about that. <laughs> it's fine. up a little. Chip says, I like how the movie did the M Mewtwo slash Green Ninja fake out, just like Smash 4. Stripex says, in other news, I finished my version of the favorite Pokemon of each type meme. Oh, goody. I'm glad I motivated everybody to do that one. I thought everybody had done those back in the day. For hours. I am glad for the for, for the plus 10 fertilizer. It just makes everything a lot easier for me. I 
Am I gonna unlock anything? After this? I need to find the, the nine cursed fertilizers. So I can... Uh, <coughs> I mean, I already have a few. So I can make the, the forbidden things. The nine forbidden plants. Chip says, now for the final result. Okay, we have one more flower. Oh shit, the cosmos, but I have the, the sweet peas priority. Do not fuse. Do you hate when the viruses, the floating viruses, fuse? Damn it. says airborne corona. <laughs> I mean corona is kind of airborne. They discover it and that's bad. one which one is it oh here it is almost done so should I get the nine forbidden plants on stream do I get credits after I finish all the things I'm probably gonna get credits if I get credits that, that might be it for this game Tribex says, why not? Yeah, I mean, I have one more day in this week, so maybe I could finish it up on Thursday. Ouch, I'm going, I'm coming! Where's my daffodil? Oh, 
Yeah, straight back is very wise. Why not? Oh shit, plot twist. Oh shit, they're growing. Stop fusing. Stop fusing. Stop fusing. Jesus. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. At least the yellow ones do not fuse. Ah. Annoying. Very, very annoying. There. Terrific. Oh shit, I won! Yay! Hold on, hold on, I won something on eBay. <laughs> hold on. Oh boy, it's time to... Is it the last time that we do the sweet pea? There we go. My order is all set. Ship says, what did the weasel win? Something green. Something for my costume. Chip says, ooh, I had a feeling it was green. Yes. So now I I have something. Now I'm just I just need to get those things. Chip says, how long have you been stalking that listing? Just a couple days. Just a couple days. So many foot hours. Conan says, You got them? Yeah, I got them. <laughs> I like being the butterfly. I also need to unlock every unlockable. There's a lot of them in this game. Wait, daisies? Where are the daisies at? Oh wait, oh my gosh, those were not the last ones. Oh boy, there's more flowers. I guess we can do those. Why did I think those were the last ones? 
I was a fool. Stripex is a sweat potato, but a food eye. Why did I think those were the last flowers? How silly of me to think that I was done. That's fine. It's just two more. We have time. Conan says, just one more piece to get in. Your custom will be complete. Yeah. Are you going to be helping me with that? Maybe I should send you the, the file that I need. You can help me check how to get those. Alright, new flowers. I think these are the last ones. I think. Oh, it's, it's bulb digging. So you kill the old plants. To get new life. Conan's, uh, no, wait. Chip says, the file I made. Yes. Yes, you made it. Usually when you say I made I made it uh, on Twitch, you you usually stick a smiley face with it, like colon right parenthesis. That's how you say on Twitch. I made this. Me, I made it. It's not slow. Oh well. I gave it my best effort. There's nothing that can be solved with some nice fertilizer. Well, it's it's drill and widening. Says wide. Oh, you know what I did earlier today? I watched uh, Enter the Florpus again. Although this time I watched it in English. I had never watched it in English. When it first came out, I watched it in Spanish because that's how I watched the original, the original cartoon. And boy, are those voices weird in English. Chip says, enter the floor, puss. <laughs> yes. Uh, what a weird movie. 
direct to Netflix movie. <coughs> Probably my favorite of the Nickelodeon Netflix movies. Terrificu. Two kinds of soil. We are used to this. We can do it. Here we go. <coughs> Rudy says, once again, I am back. Hello, Rudy is, is back asking for our support. Fingering. Well, nope. See? What kind of bullshit is that? Oh, you're not pressing on the spot I told you a, a, a half a second ago. Everything is wrong. You ruined everything. Thanks. This is so silly. Did I run out of water already? Oof, I think I did. Eh, I'm almost done anyways. I'm gonna get, go get some cereal. I'm gonna go get some cereal after this stream. Cookie crisp. I wonder how it would taste with banana slices. I may try it. I'll see if there's any ripe bananas. All these flowers are blending together. I wonder if, if when they made this game, they imagined that someday somebody would be streaming this. It feels like the kind of game that only drunk people would stream. And I am not drunk! Did 
Oh shoot. Why do I suddenly want to play mini golf? Chip says eugenics, survival of the fittest, Leonard. Nope, that one went, went right over my head. <laughs> Plus 10. Oh boy. What kind of line is that? Just add water. Just add water. Clink the thing in the thing. Remember when we were trying to strain spaghetti and pasta endlessly in Cooking Mama? That was traumatizing. Conan says, music feels like golf music. Yeah, just a little bit. Chip says, H2O, just add water. <laughs> That's a triangle. That is a triangle. That is a triangle. How dare this game judge my triangles? Stripex says hydrogen hydroxide. Chip says the hydrogen monoxide poisoning. It happens, almost happened to me once. The true leaf. Animal crossing true leaf. I guess I've been talking more than usual today. There were a lot of interesting topics to cover.
Careful. Huh. Oh, I like this game. It should appear more often, but I guess not many plants require a mini greenhouse. Rudy says, why does Hobo Mama sometimes appear on the right side? <laughs> what do you mean Hobo? <laughs> oh boy, this thing. What kind of extreme weather does she live in? Ruthie says, yeah, her, Lily, aka, aka Hobo Mama. She's a kid. Rudy says, she looks like if Cookie Mama was a hobo. Uh, I mean, they're next to each other. They look really similar, yeah. Careful, don't want to break this thing.
That it was not working. Oh boy, hold on. Is that the... Yeah, that's the notification of somebody streaming. Oh man. Who is it? Might be... Might be... Uh, I think my, it's my buddy. Yeah, it's him. I'm gonna check later. Man, this stream has been going on for a while. But I do want to finish at least all the plants. And then if... Uh, First of all, I don't think we're gonna get credits, because Cooking Mama, well, at least the Mama games never get credits. Where's my Frisha? Where is it? Oh, here it is. These are extreme clouds, holy shit. What the fuck is up with these clouds? These are not your normal clouds. Chip says, if only you could blow away their clouds raining on you right now. I would, but again, it's not that big of a deal. It's not even raining anymore. Rainbows. Rudy says, hey, it's raining here too. And the lily. Almost done here. I love how I still have the, the sad mama as the, as the um, clock. Because, yes, sometimes I do feel like that. This game fills me up with emotions that I cannot describe.
Pera, 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 pera. Que lilis Arrabluma Swallow Tate Butterfly That's it! Yay! That's it! We did all the things! Now we have this special garden. Of course, we need to unlock the nine special things. I don't have all of them. But I know where the next one is. However, I think I'll be doing that next time. So, for what I believe is going to be the last stream of uh, Guarding Mama, we'll be hopefully getting all nine of the uh, of the special things, the fertilizers. We're gonna unlock the nine things and do them in the special garden. Yeah, we can do that on Thursday. Okay, that's it. Well, this was a productive stream. I said from doing quite a lot in this game. We talked about stuff. It was fun. Oh hey, you can see a few of my favorite Pokemon in, in my in my thing there. Ronan says it was good. Yeah, it was. Rudy says thanks for the great stream, Ricky. No prob. Always trying to offer quality entertainment TM. Even though I'm not the best at this, it's still fun to do. And it helps me play games. Normally I would probably not have the time for games. But this, this helps. Chip says, probably your best gardening mama stream to date. Yeah, mostly because I did a lot of things and I managed to have things to talk about. So again, if you come to the streams, don't be afraid to bring up a topic. And we can see if we can make a whole thing out of it. Stripex says, good night, Rick. Conan says, thanks for the stream. Rudy says, love the background too. Yeah, this is my September 3DS background. I got it from uh, my Nintendo. And I liked it. I said, yeah, let's put it on. Okay, so I will be back. Well, Gardening Mama will be back on Thursday. And I'll be back tomorrow with... Well, we are done with um, Paper Mario the Origami King. We finished that yesterday. So I'll be back tomorrow with Starlink. Battle for Atlas. I'm very in the mood of playing that game, so that should fill up a few streams before I move on to something else I want to take care of. At least until I, I guess until I get my fix of Starlink. I just need to scratch that itch. Chip says, "Take care, Ricky." All right, thank you again. What am I gonna be doing on Friday? Uh, I'll think of something. Alright, so thank you very much for coming. Have a good night, have a good evening, afternoon, day, morning, or whatever you have on your side of the planet. And I'll be seeing you again very soon. Ronan is excited for that one game we have planned. Do you want me to do that on Friday? I can do that on Friday if you are if you can guarantee you'll be around. Otherwise I'd need to have a backup. 
Conan sending a hyena with a heart. Thank you. Ronan says, sure. Okay. Let's arrange that. And we can play that. I, I, I've been meaning to bring that game out of retirement. Rudy says, night night Ricky. Alright, see you again. Have a good one and I'll see you again soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.